Harvey Wanda McCresenthal with you on this Tuesday saying, well, we missed a major rainstorm. It fell apart as it came into New England last night. The Cape got some rain. We had a few showers here in the greater Boston area, but no big shakes. Now, I want to talk about this. I was watching Channel 5 last night. Chronicle and Ted Reinstein did an awesome job in remembering Dick Albert. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for Bob Culp. And I was personally hurt that Channel 5 never reached out to me for any kind of remembrance for Dick Albert. I worked with him every day, 25 years in the weather office, of course, along with Bob Copeland. He worked with him for that amount of time as well. So am I pissed off? No, I'm hurt. And um, I guess I'm just going to have to build a bridge and get over myself. So it's just the way it is, okay? All right, Sadite had to say what I wanted to say, and I just said it. There you go. Weather headline talks about the storm moves away today. Beach weather comes back here for Wednesday and Thursday. There could be some late week issues with the warm frontal zone coming up the coast, throwing some clouds in here. So let's look at the weather forecast for today. A murky start. There could be a little sun this afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s. And then overnight, skies clear out. It's Your mass dries out. It's 57 to 63. Now let's look at the five-day forecast starting with tomorrow. Beach weather returns with sunshine, a blue sky, low 80s. Thursday, sunny and beautiful, mid 80s, increasing clouds on Friday. It'll be in the 70s and low 80s, but coolest at the coast. It could be a late-day shower, maybe some showers at night on Friday as that warm front approaches from the south. Right now, Saturday looks to be cloudy and cool with a chance of occasional showers. Hopefully, we break back into some sun on Sunday with temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. But it looks like the mean storm track is coming back to the east coast next week. And it's going to be interesting because over the next two weeks, the tropics, well, they're already getting active. And some of the long-range computer models start to bring tropical systems towards the east coast. Could they get caught up in the jet stream and possibly affect New England over the next couple of weeks? I'm not going to forecast that, but I will tell you to stay tuned because it's certainly a possibility. So for now, that's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark Eisenthal.